All right, what's up, subscribers? This is Maza, and uh, this is probably a big surprise to you guys. Uh, I said that I was going to be doing Let's Plays, but I didn't really specify which game. But I found a Nintendo 64 emulator called Project 64, combined that with Fraps, and now here we have these Let's Plays. I can do Let's Plays with the Nintendo 64. So this is the Mushroom Cup. It's the first of four cups. Uh, the different cups in this game have have a uh, four races per cup and there's four different cups and I'm gonna do two races per video so this is par uh, part one of an eight part series this is the mushroom cup on uh, Mario Kart 64 and for this cup I'm going with going with my buddy Wario now Wario's big sexy he's he's fat but he plays it off like he's just you know just fluffy or just I don't know big boned he doesn't really let it interfere with like pimping on hoes and you know you got You know Peach is cheating on Mario with Wario. I mean, look at him. He's got a badass purple Lamborghini. He gets like these red turtle shells that lock onto people and smoke toad and fucking block this banana right here. Oh, never mind. Uh, the word "whir" comes up above your head when when you get hit by a banana and you spin out of control. It's pretty cool. If you guys haven't played this game, this is Mario Kart 64. Originally came out for the Nintendo 64 in the 90s. It was when I was like. Eight, eight or nine years old, and I played this forever. I used to play this all the time. Uh, my favorite track was Rainbow Road, but a uh, little question of the day for you guys right now. Uh, just answer this in the comments below on this video. What was your favorite character on this game, and what was your favorite map? Just try answer both of those for me in the comments below on this video, and uh, hopefully this that can help get this video some more views, and uh, yeah, I hope the Call of Duty community uh, still appreciates like old old ga awesome awesome games like this because there's not as many games that had as much of an impact as this game had I mean this game was like one of the original like party racing games like, I, I remember my friends would come over to my house and we would literally play this thing all night and that was kind of a first for gaming uh, uh, in my life I mean we would play the sims for a while but that got boring uh, but this game never got boring we would always try to beat each other's times and stuff and play different characters and just try to beat all the cups on 150 cc's which was hard when you were nine years old but it's pretty easy now uh, as you'll see uh, Ooh, those upside down question marks those will trick you if you're if you're young I used to never know the difference but yeah if there's a little question mark box that's not in a line not where it should be then it's probably a fake and that'll like spin you out of control and make you fall down and die and shit but uh yeah, that was the that was the first. I think that was Lu Luigi Raceway. Pretty sure that was the name of the map. And I just smoked that thing. Bowser came in second, but he's a big fat turtle, so I'm not really worried about it. And uh, the reason I chose Wario is because I've always liked Wario, and uh, the, my very my it, well, I don't know. I have two favorite maps on this game. Uh, Wario, I can't remember what it's called. Wario Raceway, maybe. Uh, but Rainbow Road and and Wario's map are my favorite maps on this entire game. And, uh, yeah, I just, I've always liked Wario, preferred him over Mario just because he's cool and he, I, he talks cooler and he's, I don't know, I just think he's overall better and his fat ass helps you to maintain the uh, momentum needed to take first place, which, uh, you'll definitely see later in this game. But, uh, start off hitting Mario with a banana right there and I, I noticed that these moles are on the side of the road and these fucking moles, they'll, they'll kill you. Uh, they're like moles on steroids because they somehow manage to like jump up out of their little holes at the perfect time and smash your cart and flip over your go-kart so I don't know what kind of moles the only moles I've seen weigh like three pounds but these are some crazy ass moles but uh, yeah just stay away from those this is the, this is the map Moo Moo Farms you can tell why because there's these like giant mutant cows look at that look at them they're bigger than my freaking character and car I don't know I don't know what kind of world we're supposed to be in, but those cows are about the half the size of those. I don't know. Those are, those are supposed to be giant trees. And those cows are huge compared to the highway and my go kart and everything. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you could do glitches in this game, but it'd be cool to like drive right out, drive on the outside, and see if you could like drive into a cow or something. But uh, yeah, you guys. I mean, if you want me to keep doing these last plays. Let me know because I, I think this is going to be really cool and it's going to be a really nice break from Modern Warfare 2 because Modern Warfare 2 gets, we all know it gets pretty stressful and people are camping and shit like that and just, you can always overplay a game and get it played out too much. 
But uh, yeah, took first in both of those. Damn, that was pretty fast. But uh, this has been my first Let's Play. Those were the two maps, Luigi Raceway, Luigi Raceway, and uh, Moo Moo Farms. I'm gonna be finishing up uh, the last two maps of the Mushroom Cup here in a couple days, and I'm getting a call from Josh, so I'm gonna go hang out with him. Uh, Josh is Fuzzamaza, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys with this later next week.